正会。Rebirth of the malicious empress of military lineage, Chapter 120. The two Ju strikes the days in the Wu family passed like that. Shen Xin and Shen Kaiyu were people who could not keep still, so they would head to the shabby training grounds outside the Wu residence. Naturally, they trained the front section of the remaining Shen family's army. The front section part of the army were those who did errands and minor stuff. Thus, they found it tough being trained like this, and Shen Xin also got angry as he trained. Luo Zuyan was busy visiting friends and relatives around. Zhao Chun City was the place she lived through her childhood and youth. Thus, she had several good friends around. She would every day bring Shen Miao out to visit old friends, and thus Shen Miao became acquainted with many Furens. Initially, everyone conscientiously waited upon this delicate young lady from Mingqi. Food eaten was the most delicate. The threads used were the most delicate. Snacks were of all different types, and even flora and fauna were pruned much more beautifully than before. Previously, those officials' daughters had a temper because they came from the Ding capital to Zhao Chun City. Thus, everyone was afraid of not treating Shen Miao well due to some carelessness. Who knew that after staying for some time? They found their previous thoughts were superfluous. Shen Miao integrated into Zhao Chun City properly and did not do anything that warranted special treatment. The Zhao Chun City occasionally would have hailstorms, and Shen Miao was not afraid and instead curious. Over time, the Luo family gradually put down their defensive heart toward this Bi Ai younger sister. Among the four younger generations of the Luo family, Luo Ling and Luo Zhe had started duties as guards. And it would not be often that they could meet up. Luo Tan and Luo Qian were often at home, and Luo Tan made friends with Shen Miao after she gave her a Western mirror. As for Luo Qian, he had a naturally lively personality, just like a grown-up Su Ming Lang, and often request Shen Miao to tell him stories of the Din capital. Shen Miao need not think about Fu Ziyu Yi's matters in Zhao Chun City. Thus, her mind was much clearer. And practically treated Luo Qian as a younger brother. This day, Luo Qian and Luo Tan came over to Shen Miao's courtyard again to look for her. The Zhao Chun City was not like the Ding capital. If one goes to the Ding capital, one could go out shopping. It would take months to visit all the shops in the large and small streets. But Zhao Chun City was small, and there would not be much to shop for after a few days. Shen Miao stayed in the residence. And probably Luo Tan and Luo Qian found it boring and came over to chat with her. Luo Qian was eating the Jiangnan snacks that the chef had made as he spoke. Yesterday, I went to the training grounds to watch Biao older brother train. Although those soldiers are not very good, there is still guard Mo beside older brother Kaiyu. I could not pass beside a few strokes from him in sparring. Can you ask older brother Kaiyu to also give me some pointers? Shen Miao smiled. If you want to learn, then directly tell eldest brother. He will certainly agree to it. Really? Luo Qian was an innocent youth and got happy in a moment. Strangely enough, the gentlemen and youths in the Ding capital were mostly arrogant. And yet, a disproportionate number of scandals were created due to their lack of experience. The younger generation of the Luo family was different, like Luo Qian, frank, and had an innocent, youthful charm, making others feel good. Be a younger sister. Luo Qian was very cordial to this pretty and gentle be a younger sister, and has long seen her as one of his own. So he said. Older brother Kaiyu's martial arts skills look good. Is he the first in the entire Ding capital and the best in Mingqi? Eldest brothers and second brothers' martial arts skills are the top here, but they still lost to older brother Kaiyu. Luo Tan, that had been flipping the picture book, finally could not stand hearing this and rolled her eyes at Luo Qian as she bit the orange in her mouth. Are you not silly to be so ignorant? Do not tell others you are from the Luo family, and do not tell others that I am your older sister. So embarrassing. Luo Tan and Luo Qian were two siblings who would argue all day long, and Shen Miao was already accustomed to it. Sure enough, when Luo Qian heard this, he was unconvinced. How do you know I am ignorant? Are you saying that older brother Kaiyu is not the first Southern Z, Northern Shen? Luo Tan said very slowly. Shen Miao was startled. Luo Tan triumphantly shook her head and said, "Everyone knows that Mingqi has two great military families: 
first is Gugu's and Gu Fu's great general Shen's family, and the second is the Marquis of Linan's Z family. Older brother Kaiyu is Shen's family elite and one hears that the Marquis of Linan residence's Z family has a little Marquis that is surprisingly brilliant. Previously, Zhu Fu had the opportunity to meet that little Marquis once, and said upon his return that he does not belong to the pond and will be a dragon that soars through the nine heavens. Wei Zhu Fu has seen little Marquis Z? Shen Miao asked hesitantly. Luo Qian also said, Hey older sister, how come I do not know? You only know how to eat, eat, eat. How would you know? Luo Tan rolled her eyes at Luo Qian and continued speaking, heard that in the beginning, he got a military order with the Marquis of Linen, and just nice saw the little Marquis in the camp. After Zhu Fu saw that little Marquis he kept lamented for a bit. I wanted to inquire but Zhu Fu told me to stay far from him, as he said that the little Marquis is a dangerous character that one must not mess with. Shen Miao frowned. Luo Su I saw Zi Jing Xing before, and this was something that she did not know. However that Luo Su I saw that Zi Jing Xing was not simple and before she could break free of her thoughts, she heard Luo Tan asking, Youngest sister, speaking of which, you also grew up in the Ding capital so you must have seen that little Marquisi before. Shen Miao paused for a bit before nodding her head. How does he look like? Luo Tan grabbed onto Shen Miao's arm. Is he so incomparably handsome like an immortal as the rumors say, and that he is even more handsome than older brother Ling? The older brother Ling she was speaking about was naturally Luo Ling. Among the three sons of the Luo family, Luo Ling was gentle, Luo Su was fierce, Luo Qian was lively and all of them had a handsome appearance. It is just that because Luo Ling was the most gentle, one would find that he was the most handsome one. Shen Miao said without reluctance, not as handsome as older brother Ling. Ah! Luo Tan released her hand and her eyes were filled with disappointment, but I heard others say that the little Marquis is very good looking, and had a romantic character that if females were to take a glance at him, they would be drunk and that there is no comparison with older brother Ling. Luo Qian looked at her with rejoicing in her misfortune. The most important thing for men is naturally one's ability. What does it get to do with appearance? Besides if little Marquisi looked for a wife, he will not look for you. Luo Qian was beaming as he looked at Shen Miao. Naturally one must look for a gentle, tender, and vivid young lady like be a youngest sister. Luo Tan and Luo Qian immediately started on a roll. Shen Miao held her forehead as she watched the siblings quarreling, and felt rather quite helpless in her heart. She did not expect that Zhao Chun City, Zi Jing Xing would be that famous. Thinking now about that, Zi Jing Xing had headed to Northern Zhang, most likely he had already reached there. It was the first time he held the position of a marshal and deployed troops on the battlefield. And even though she knew that Zi Jing Xing had abilities in troop deployment, she could not help but shrink when she thought about his outcome in the previous life. Dropping the matter, Shen Miao shook her head and chased away the inexplicable thoughts in her mind. Previously, she thought that Zi Jing Xing excelled in using military formations, but after sparring with him, she then found out that his expertise lay in moving chess pieces in the dark. That kind of person's mind was so calm intricate, and certain, he could turn misfortune into blessings. Time flew by quickly, Luo Tan and Luo Qian had been sitting at Shen Miao's side for the entire evening. The skies began to turn gloomy. Whenever it was in the ninth month in Zhao Chun City, the grass outside the city would be dry but it would often rain heavily in the city. It was a different kind of rain than the Ding capital experience, as Zhao Chun City's rain had the scene of the windy sand and it was often very aggressive and the dark clouds almost covered the entire sky, that in just a few short moments, it was like it was night. Luo Tan looked at the skies, it is not good. One fear that there will be a hailstorm. Why are Gu Fu and the rest not back yet? Luo Qian also stood up and frowned. Even though the Luo family's army was dispersed, people were still needed for the city guards. On normal days, Luo Yan Ying and Luo Yan Tai would work in the guard units and after Shen Xin came, he also brought Shen Kaiyu over to help. Once dinner time came, they would all return to the residence together for a meal but to the time right now, 
They had yet to return, Shen Miao took a glance outside and suddenly thought about something before her facial expression changed dramatically. Luo Tan saw that Shen Miao's expression was not right, and thought that she was afraid and her heart felt a little weird. Be a youngest sister, are you afraid? A few days back there was a hailstorm, you were not even scared so why are you now scared? Speaking till here, she patted Shen Miao's shoulder, do not worry. We have been staying here for so many years and every year at this time, there will often be a hailstorm. Do not need to be afraid. Shen Miao's mood did not improve because of Wu Tan's comforting words, but her expression became even uglier. As a result, even the careless Wu Qian also felt something was wrong and looked at Shen Miao puzzled. Why is Bi a youngest sister that anxious? If it is worried about Gu Fu then it is alright. When his words just landed, one could hear someone outside calling. It was the servant of the Luo residence and due to the quick run, he even tripped over, youngest young master, young lady, and be a young lady, Furin request you to come to the hall quickly. Luo Tan was startled and her brows tightened, what had happened? The two Ju came over and robbed things again. Old master brought the two masters and general Shen to the plains. The two young masters are still in the residence and saw that the skies are about to change. Young lady better quickly head to the hall. Even though that servant was somewhat anxious, he had not forgotten his manners. Events like this, happened often and it was a common event. Luo Tan bitterly stomped her feet, those two Ju should die. Luo Qian said to Shen Miao, be our youngest sister follow us in first. It is nothing of the matter. At this time, he still did not forget to comfort Shen Miao. Shen Miao nodded her head and when she reached the front hall of the Luo residence, there were several people gathered there. It was most likely that Madame Ma was afraid of scaring Shen Miao. She walked over to Shen Miao and held her hands. Zhao Zhao had never seen just big hail before. It is alright, we will be chatting in the hall. It has been so long and Zhao Zhao had never before told us about matters in the Ding capital. But she did not mention two Jews matter. Madame Yu was softer and also smiled, that is so, let us eat some roasted lamb tonight. Not sure if Zhao Zhao is used to the taste. The Zhao Chun city was adjacent to the grassland and when the two Jew were not robbing them, they would exchange their cows and goats for some daily necessities. The cows and lambs were strong thus when one has gotten a fresh lamb, one would slice their meat very thinly and prepare a hot pot to quickly cook these thin slices of meat. When it was cooked, one would dip it in a little sauce and it would taste heavenly. Wu Tan had previously wanted to let Shen Miao taste lamb, but she feared that Shen Miao would not be used to the taste. Fortunately, this was brought up today. It was obvious that one did not want Shen Miao to be distracted and think of other stuff so Shen Miao smiled gently at Madame Yu. The Luo family always shows their goodwill to the fullest extent. The two Ju would often nest deep in the grassland, thus in every chase, the manpower of the Luo family's army would not be enough. All the abled men of the Luo family need to be activated for such a chase. But this year Shen Xin and his wife were around, thus it was better. Shen Xin, Luo Zhu Yan and Shen Kaiyu, Luo Yan Ying, and Luo Yan Tai all went and even Luo Su I followed. Luo Ying and Luo Zha also wanted to go but since Shen Xin and the rest went, Luo Ling and Luo Su stayed back at the Zhao Chun city. The skies outside had turned dark and Luo Tan bit her lips tightly feeling frustrated. Every year there will be people coming to her own home to steal things, how would anyone feel happy about it? Most of the people in the hall were females and some servants. Bei Lu and Xu Ang Zhang, quietly served the leftover snacks from the afternoon to Shen Miao so that she could eat some. The pot in the hall has been set up and the kitchens were cutting the lamb up. The aroma began to waft out from the thick soup in the pot but, at this moment no one felt happy. Luo Qian felt a bit hungry and seeing that there were still snacks by Shen Miao's side, he walked over and sat beside Shen Miao and picked up one snack to eat. Shen Miao looked at him unblinking. Luo Qian felt weird being looked at by Shen Miao like so, and finally scratched his head and could not help but ask, Be a youngest sister, why are you looking at me? Are you scared? Both of them sat a little far away from Madame Yu and the rest, 
thus normal people would not be able to hear their voices, Shin Miao said, older brother Keon, for what reason did Wei Zhu not want to reorganize the Wu family's army? Luo Qian was startled. That day after hearing me speak, Wei Zhu got angry. One fear is that it is not only because of the matter of not having enough money for the Wu family's army. Older brother Qian, can you tell me the reason? That day after hearing me speak, Wei Zhu got angry. One fear is that it is not only because of the matter of not having enough money for the Luo family's army. Older brother Qian, can you tell me the reason? Luo Qian looked around and did not look at Shen Miao's eyes at all as he said, What other reason is there other than money? The Ao youngest sister does not think too much if there is no money. How to revive the Luo family's army? Shen Miao quietly looked at him. Her eyes were very moving and filled with clarity without any unnecessary feelings, but it was this frank expression that one was not able to resist, like lying in front of this pair of eyes was profane. Luo Qian was after all a lively youth and had a good relationship with Shen Miao thus he finally was defeated, the Ao youngest sister, no one in our residence dare to speak about this matter. But you are one of our own so I will tell you but you must not tell others after you know about it. If my father and mother knew that I told you about the matter, I would need to endure some planks. Shen Miao nodded her head. You are not the first one to bring up the matter about restructuring the Luo family's army. Shen Qian said, when the Luo family's army truly started to decline it was not long after youngest Gu was born. At that time the Luo family had already waned. Zufu was frustrated with his ambition and since she saw him sullen all day, she proposed to revive the Wu family's army. Zufu already had such intentions in his heart so when Zhu Mu said that, he immediately started preparing. But at that time there was a lack of funds and Zhu Mu also said what the Ao youngest sister said that day, that when the troops are reputable and after winning a battle, his majesty would take notice of such an army and naturally will send money over so one would be able to solve the matters of money. Thus, Zufu did a request for the commander to fight a battle in the frontier. Luo Qian sighed, the Ao youngest sister should have guessed the result of it. Zufu's was defeated and was almost treated as a joke. The Luo family's army was originally on a decline, and to be inflicted with such heavy losses, was a stumble that one was unable to rise from. Most importantly was that when Zufu brought the troops to battle, Zumi was seriously ill. And to let Zufu feel assured, Zumu did not let anyone in the family tell to Zufu. When Zufu returned in defeat, Zumu had already passed away. Zufu had always felt that he had not completed the promise he made to Zumu, that even if he were to leave the earth a hundred years later, he will not be able to meet up with Zumu. All these years, he had not reorganized the Wu family's army because he did not dare to face up to his past failure. Luo Qian put down the snacks in his hand and looked at Shen Miao, the Ao youngest sister, I know you want to revive the prestige of the Luo family's army but we the Luo family people do not require you to be famous. My mother said previously, it is better to cherish the people in front. Just like Zhu Fu, if time could be returned to before, he will not fight that war and will choose to be by Zhou Mu's side. So to make Zhu Fu happy, even if the Wu family's army continues to be in a slump, it would not be an issue. Shen Miao looked at Luo Qian and in her heart, she was a little surprised. She had not thought that Luo Qian, which was such a careless person, would say such words. It was indeed not fake to say that the Luo family's people are righteous, warm, and kind-hearted. But after knowing such an event from Luo Qian's mouth, one heart also somewhat sighed. The worst defeat of a great general with power and prestige was being overconfident or to had no confidence in the outcome. Shen Miao thought that it was not that Luo Su I could not take this defeat, but what he could not take was to have lost Luo Furen, giving up his seriously ill wife and choosing contributions instead, and then the outcome gave him a big slap. No wonder when Shen Miao spoke those words that day, Luo Sui's face instantly changed. One fear that it had pinched up the most hidden pain in the general's heart. But even if one is in such a slump, will Wei Zumu be happy about it? Shin Miao suddenly spoke. I. Luo Qian turned his head and looked at her puzzled. Shen Miao gently smiled. If I love someone, and if he is a hero, 
one would hope that he will adorn his valuable sword, ride his fierce horse and lead the most valiant soldiers, to achieve the highest meritorious awards that one would be the proudest. I will not be willing for him to suffer any grievance. The grievances that Wei Zufu is suffering, if Wei Zumu knows about it, one does not know if she will feel pain. If it was me, my heart will ache. Luo Qian was confused and disoriented by Shen Miao's words. Not to say anything else, to talk about love in front of a man like him, made him feel a little aghast. Madame Ma kept saying that Shen Miao was a young lady from the Ding capital, and one had to take delicate care of her, as she would have a shy character. But from seeing her today, how was there any shyness? She was even franker than Luo Tan. Just as one was thinking, one heard the servant outside shouting, Eldest young master and second young master has returned. Everyone looked towards the entrance of the hall and it was the two brothers, Luo Ling and Luo Zha. It was probably about to rain outside as the air was somewhat humid. Both of their clothes seemed to be stained with water, as Luo Ling and Luo Zha just returned from the guard's garrison and seemed to be busy. Madame Yu first instructed the servant to pour tea for both of them, and Luo Zha drank it up in one shot. Luo Tan had already run over and asked Luo Ling, older brother Ling, how's outside? Looking at the skies it would be a hailstorm, had already let the commoners go back to their houses to hide. Everything is prepared outside. Luo Ling replied with a smile, second brother and I returned to guard overnight. Our roof is solid so one need not be afraid. What happened to father, Gu Fu, Yi Yi, and the rest? Luo Tan could not help but continue asking. Luo Zha's brows wrinkled, still not yet returned. Luo Tan wanted to say something but Luo Ling saw Wo Qian and Shen Miao walking over and quickly said, It is nothing. Most likely there are things to do tonight and can only return tomorrow. He changed the topic, smells good. Are we eating roasted lamb? The Ao younger sister has not yet eaten such things. Not sure if you will get used to it. Shen Miao walked to Luo Ling. Luo Ling was 18 this year and his eyes were as handsome as Luo Yan Ying's but his character was as gentle and considerate as Madame Mu's. Compared to Luo Sa's character, it was almost a thousand miles apart. Shen Miao said, older brother Lin, how are the soldiers deployed in the guards? Luo Ling was surprised for a moment as he did think that Shen Miao would ask that and replied. All has been arranged properly. How many people are guarding the city? Shen Miao asked. This time Luo Zha's eyes landed on Shen Miao. When the younger generation was speaking, Madame Yu and Madame Ma would usually move far away. Luo Qian asked, Why is Bia youngest sister asking about this? There will be a hailstone tonight, thus no one will be entering the city. East, 30. West, 30. Including 10 in the north. There is a total of 70 people. Luo Ling patiently answered. Is it normal for there to be this many people? Shen Miao asked. After hesitating for a moment, Luo Ling said, Normally there will be even more but they were transferred away by father. Thus there is only little left at the city guards. But as there are no accidents in the city, 70 people are enough. Today's weather is not good and younger brother is correct to say that there would not be people entering the city. The number of people that the Wu family's army could use was limited, thus if one were to pursue the two Ju, naturally one would need to bring abled people along. Those remaining soldiers guarding the city appeared to be overextended. Of course, the Zhao Chun city had been safe and sound for so many years and the guards would only help to arrest fugitives or thieves and the like most of the time, and were a large of no good use. Luosa stared at Shen Miao for a while before suddenly speaking, You are afraid the two Ju will attack? When the words were spoken, everyone froze for a moment. Luo Tan opened her mouth wide and Luo Qian questioned, Second older brother, what are you talking about? Why would the two Ju attack? Luosa sneered and stared into Shen Miao's eyes without blinking. Did not be a youngest sister said it on that day, that the two Ju are ambitious and had to strength. So why could they not attack? You are scared of this right? Luosa's temper was aggressive and facing his sharp eyes, Shen Miao nodded her head. Correct. What I fear is this. How is it possible? Luo Tan said, not to say that what you mention will not happen. But today father and Gu Fu, 
aka father's sister's husband aka Shen Zin, had gone to the plains to pursue and attack the Tuju. How would the Tuju be distracted and attack Zhao Chun city? Even if one was ambitious, then would not it be better to find another better timing? Not only the Ming Chi knows how to use moving the tiger away from the mountain tactic. Xin Miao said blandly, although the Tuju is nomads, they are not fools. After living with the Zhao Chun city's citizens for so many years, do you think that they would not learn those weasel things? As long as the Tuju are not fools, they would have long learned it. Shen Miao's unnatural cold attitude, made the few people present a little surprised. After a moment of silence, Lu Woling spoke first, Be our youngest sister, this is your conjecture, or is it information that was heard somewhere else? Shen Miao had been constantly thinking about the Tuju attack which was extremely unusual today. Everyone noticed this and as long as one was not a fool, they would be able to see the difference from the norm. If it is a mere fear then it was one aspect. But if there were information elsewhere, then it would be another story. Intuition. Intuition. Luosa did not get angry but laughed. Be a youngest sister, this is not the time to joke. Could it be that both older brothers, who had been in the city guards for so many years, cannot understand the logic of taking preventative measures in advance? Shin Miao slightly held back and her eyes were controlled before she quickly became firm. She said, if the two Jew attack and one make preparations in advance then one would naturally be happy. If there is no attack and Zhao Chun city is unharmed, it is also a good thing. Can it be that a bad thing must happen before preparations can be made? If one does not even know about this logic then it is no wonder the Wu family gradually declined. You. Luosa got furious in a short moment. Luo Tan and Luo Qian did not have a good expressions on their face. It was Luo Ling who stared at Shen Miao for a while, and without a change in his expression spoke to her warmly as he cupped his hands. Be a youngest sister said correctly. It is us that are stupid but there is a shortage of manpower among the city guards, and it has become the crux of the matter. Accordingly to be a youngest sister's opinion, what is to be done? On the surface. These words were inquiring, but it was an insinuation for her to solve the thorny problem on hand, and also a test of her abilities. Shen Miao's heart smiled, this gentle Biao older brother did not seem to be as tolerant as he seemed on the surface. She said, if it comes to this point, then manpower can't increase without cause. Since the two Ju come prepared, naturally we are not their rivals. I am, after all just one of the weaker gender and do not know martial arts. Rather than take the risk, why not defend oneself? Older brother Lin can gather more guards to the Luo residence's doors, and protect the Luo residence. If there are real problems then it would be able to withstand for a while. When her smooth and slippery words were spoken, everyone blanked out. Did she say that impassionately? Why was it that at such a time? She showed a helpless appearance. The few younger generation in the Luo family did not understand Shen Miao's intention. Luosa felt the most oppressed and wanted to get angry when he looked at Shen Miao, but could not find any reason to be angry. Thus he had to sit at the side with a furious face. Luo Ling looked meaningfully at Shen Miao and unexpectedly said, then follow according to what Bi a youngest sister had said. Everyone sat back in the hall. No one knew why but because of Shen Miao's words, the atmosphere became somewhat rigid. Even Luo Qian and Luo Tan seemed to be nervous. Only Madame Ma and Madame Yi were completely ignorant and were giving instructions to the kitchens. Suddenly, when the skies completely became dark, one of Luo Ling's guards came from outside to seek an audience. Luo Ling allowed him to come in and that guard was filled with anxiety and said a few words to Luo Ling's ear. Luo Ling's face changed color as he suddenly looked over at Shen Miao. Shen Miao was drinking tea unhurriedly, 